Hello there and welcome back to Paul's Racing Channel and to the Ultimate Racing League sponsored by upshiftstore.co.uk, Hambridge Transport Limited and in association with digitalmotorsports.com So we've reached the final round, this is round 8 and we return to uh, the Deep Forest Raceway in Switzerland this is where we started the championship 8 rounds ago and we're ending it here as well so the usual 3 15 minute races, you know the score by now and uh, yep, yeah, can't wait to get these final three races underway race one coming up very very soon um, just going into this one Wayne has actually secured the championship uh, before he even touched the throttle here at Deep Forest Raceway so congratulations to Wayne but there's still a fight on for second, third, fourth and fifth uh, between uh, Chuck, Flash, Chand and Rodders or Love Rocket as you might know him on here so that's uh, how it looks going into this one so let's take you through that grid. So going into, uh, or in pole position, I should say, we've got Chuck, we've got Wayney in second, Ice Chand in third, James Stephen in fourth, Flash in fifth, Team Silver sixth, Hodgie seventh, Love Rocket in eighth, Firepower in ninth, and Stacking Yak in tenth. So let's get this one underway. Let's see how it goes. As they watch them lights go out and away they go all good start by everybody is it oh oh no it's not team silver at the back there oh he went into i think it was love rocket there team silver at a moment took love rocket out so there's two cars at the back there that's had an incident so this could be a safety car we will wait and see looks like it they're all slowing down yeah it is thought it might be had to be really Team Silver with a massive moment on the pull away there of the grid and just kind of went right, 90 degree right angle and then uh, went straight into T-Bone Love Rocket. So we just got to wait for the cars to, assuming they're not damaged of course, to catch up and get onto the back of this gaggle, this line. But Wayne will be taking him off he's obviously grabbed the lead off a of chuck there before the safety car was called so it's wayne who's taking him up there with chuck in second chan third james stephen full flash in fifth firepower sixth hodgie seventh love rocket in eighth so let's see when wayne will go it could they could go all the way around to the start or finish before they actually get this one underway but we'll have to wait and see or does he go here well, no, don't think he will be going here. As the lights are still on, we're just trying to keep their tyres warm. At this point, no, they're going to go all the way around, I'm sure of it. And they'll go for it when they hit the start and finish. Everyone's on there now, everyone's in line, everyone's ready to go. There they go. And the left-hander, you'll recognise the course, obviously, from round one if you watch that video and watch the championship but uh, right here we go then let's watch these the lights will be out on the front of Wayne's Jag and he will pull the pin everyone's got to get ready be ready Chuck's ready that's for sure look at him right up the back of Wayne he can't wait to get this one going can he right now watch here we go let's have another go at this shall we Got to go now, surely. Here we go, and away they go. They're off. So Wayne then, lights are out. Does it in time, Chand attacking Chuck up the inside as he does go there. Just falls Chuck out a little bit wide. So Chuck back to third. Chand though, got through to second. And James Stevens in fourth. James is back here for this final round. Flash behind him in fifth place. Oh, James with a massive moment under the tunnel there. Lost the rear end, span out on him, and he's back to 10th. So right to the back there, James, unfortunate for him. He was fighting up there, wasn't he? Top four. Here is the top four. And it's Flash who's trying to get onto the back here. So it's Wayne, Chan, Chuck, all in a row there. Flash there, just trying his utmost to catch him. Should do in that GTR. 
especially along these straight sections. Chan attacking, or actually a chuck attacking, isn't it? Chuck going on the outside of Chan. They didn't quite get that done. Oh, Wayne, he goes really deep and wide and out onto the dirty stuff. But it keeps it there. Now, will the game think that's a penalty? Don't think so. It is kind of a runoff area, so you must be allowed to go out there, I guess. But uh, yeah, all fine. So it's still Chan then in second. Chuck though attacking Chan now, up a turn one. Oh, he's going to attack Wayne as well, is he? Oh, way too deep, Chuck. Oh, goodness me. What happened now? Really, really hot. It's going to lose spots here. So all the way back down to eighth, ahead of James Stephen. So, oh, bad mistake from Chuck now. Never mind. But really went in there too hot. But that has allowed Flash to get up to that third spot then. So it's still Wayne, it's still Chan. Then Flash. And Firepower in fourth place, looking good there. Trying his best Firepower to go onto the back of Flash. And a little battle here with Hodgie, Love Rocket, who's getting through the field along with Team Silver, the two that had that incident there at the start, which brought out that safety car. And they're in sixth and seventh place, respectively. Team Silver having a look at that sixth place, though, goes up the inside of Love Rocket. He's got to get him down here, surely. Ooh, the fast left hand up. Oh, that GTR is quick. I don't think he's going to get him. Oh, I don't know though, he's on the inside, his Team Silver, so he has got that line for the turn one. Oh, don't do a chuck. No, he kept it there, that's fine. So he kept it there in sixth place, so Love Rocket seventh then now. So Team Silver makes up a spot. And James there, recovering from that moment with Chuck behind him, and actually James has got past Chuck, so Chuck was in eighth after that moment, back to ninth, so at another moment, well, as James obviously got past him, so Chuck's going backwards here. Unbelievable. Just what he didn't want when he's trying to... Well, he can't win the championship, but trying to get that second spot on the championship table. It's not going to help his calls, although... He will obviously be picking up points still. They're stacking at the back there in 10th. So he's got this first season under his belt, so he'll be coming back for sure next season as a never improved driver so expect bigger things from him but this guy at the front here is already getting bigger things isn't he this is well he's got that title wrapped up he's got that trophy in his hand so got to sort of go through the motions get these three races out of the way regardless of where he finishes here today. He's going to get it anyway. It's been an outstanding season from Wayne. Made very few mistakes and, well, deserved it really. Chand was looking good early doors, wasn't he, in the championship. And as I said last time out, just a couple of rounds where it just wasn't quite right for the BM. And, uh, you know, he's lost, lost ground on the, uh, the point situation at the top there. So, wants to finish with a bang note, does Chan. So, looking to get a good result here tonight. And then Flash in third place. Again, another one that's kind of started off slow, but has really improved over the second half of this season. And uh, has picked up some good points and finishing some good positions. Oh, waiting again. Always goes wide there and he's put up, put under pressure on Chan now. As we're going back up the top there, Chan's going to be on the inside and he's going to take the lead off him. He does. There he goes. Before they even get to the fast left hand as Chan's made it, but Wayne's not giving up. He'll just slot him behind Chan now. And he might get him down here, Wayne. At turn one he does. Well, or does he? Is Chan going to get him on the brakes? No, he doesn't. So Wayne, round the outside. Or maybe he does, Chan. 
there he does, just forcing him out there as well, does Chad. So, good little bit of racing, the Flash is now woken up a little bit and he wants a bit of Wayne as well, and up the inside goes Flash. All a little bit of touching, but that's fine. Gets himself up to second then. So it's Chan then who's taking up this lead. Flash makes up that spot to second, then it's Wayne in third. Bit of glitching here tonight, actually. He on his final round in his race one at the moment, so just have to live with it, I'm afraid, viewers. Hopefully, when the next season starts, it uh, might have improved, might have got a bit better, we'll see, but I have to just sort of handle it, really. Firepower and this lot here, look, Firepower now, ending up this next group. There's Firepower in fourth, Love Rocket in fifth, making his way through nicely. Oji in sixth, being attacked by Chuck now. Chuck's already up to seventh now, so Chuck's made up a couple of spots already, past his uh, teammate as well. So Chuck up the inside of Oji, gets it done, round there. Good move on the outside of Oji. Oh, and his little gap there, he's gone through the in, in the middle, is he? A firepower and love rocket, there he is, he has. What a move from Chuck, absolutely superb as he made it stick. Oh, firepower's not giving it to him, but if you can make that one stick, Chuck, what a move that was. Took two cars with one move there little door opened in between both of them and he said yeah I'll have that gap thanks very much indeed boys got all the way through as he made it stick now that's better on the brakes from him that time yeah brilliant move from Chuck great shot that and a great move from Chuck one of the moves of the series I think from Chuck because he took Hodgie moments before so basically past three cars in the space of like two corners, so really on the hunt now is Chuck. You can give me the 20 quid later, Chuck. Firepower in fifth place. I'm only kidding, buddy. That's a great move. Firepower in fifth. Love Rocket in sixth. Fighting with Firepower. He's looking to get that fifth place off him. That's side by side, neck and neck as they head up under the tunnel onto this really tight hairpin left-hander slowest corner on the track this oh just edges firepower out does rough rocket bit gets it done gets up to fifth place glitching galore here in race one but still what a fantastic race Oji in seventh Hasn't got his teammate here tonight, so he's on his own again, he's Oji. But the green machine has had a good series also, especially at Daytona for both of them. Team Illuminous really going out for it that day. And coming out on top. Team Silver, there he is in eighth place after his moment at the start can't really get it going but he's in eighth and James Stephen at that moment as well when he was pushing up top and he was fighting with Chuck and uh, sort of out of it here isn't he in ninth as we come into these last few minutes now stacking at the back there in tenth place we're going to go back top because Chan's taking that lead up again. And Wayne, or oh, I say again, Chan is in the front. I don't think he's been there, or has he? Whatever, he is now. And he might have timed this to perfection, although we know that Wayne is not going to give up and he's really going for it, is Wayne. But Chan's there. It's all that counts at the moment. Flash still in third. Oh, Wayne's going to look for it down his side. No, but both really heavy on the brakes there but good driving, no contact whatsoever from the League One boys here at the Ultimate Racing League. Oh, a bit of grass cutting from Chan, but that's how you do that corner. You basically try and straight line it if you can. Got to be a bit careful. And then through under the bridge and uh, around these sort of twisty section here through the forest. Got a left handers here, obviously an anti-clockwise circuit. Now power it down under and through 
this long tunnel section now, my well, sort of double tunnel really, come out of this one for a few meters and then it's back under into the darkness into this main tunnel. Pound it down to this hairpin left hander. Wayne, now he's going to sit behind Chan now, but these three have pulled away with Flash there in third. They pulled away now from Chuck, but Chuck doing all he can to get close to him, but he's running out of time with what a minute left of this first race. There is Chuck, he's done well to get back to fourth considering where he was at turn one at the start. Facing the wall, facing the crowd. So he's recovered well, got himself through, done a superb pass. And just what he wanted really. Love Rocket in fifth. Far power sixth. James Stephen in seventh, Hodgie actually back to eighth. Team Silver back to ninth, so they're dropping that back down and oh, a lot of lag going on there from Hodgie, not sure what's happening there. And stacking there in seventh, but let's go back to our leaders now. Chan, let's see these come up and over the finish line. It's all about now who's going to finish here on the podium in which positions because it's just these three and we're on the final lap as we know and coming to this final sector now now is Wayne going to attack Chan well he had a look at it but he wasn't far enough up so I think Chan might have got this one then so it's going to be a race though for second and third because Wayne and Flash is battling it out I'm going to stick with Chan though for a second because he's going to make it victory here at race one congratulations to Chan race one winner well done to Chan and Wayne does hold off Flash in third place, that's Wayne in second. Flash in third, Chuck does get our fourth in the end, well done. And then Love Rocket with a good fifth place. So that's the two GTRs in the top five. Firepower, good sixth place for him, well done for him as well. James recovered well actually to get a seventh place in the end. And then Oji coming around now to take that eighth spot with Team Silver coming in in ninth. And we know that Stacking Yak is in 10th place. So there's your race one, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Stay with me and uh, watch races two and three coming up shortly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.